Can I uh, share a screen? Um, in one moment. <laughs> okay, sorry. Welcome to the Southern Association of College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website where you registered. Before we get started, I'd also like to take a moment to thank our fair sponsor, Cambridge Assessment International Education. And now I'd like to turn it over to our first presenter, Lemoyne Owen College. Take it away. Hey, good evening, everyone. My name is Prince Page, and I am one of the uh, academic recruiters for, uh, excuse me, admissions recruiters for Lemoyne Owen College. Uh, just real quick while I share my screen. Just want you all to know that we are a private HBCU located here in Memphis, Tennessee. So if you're looking for a home away from home, somewhere like a small environment, then you look no further, you found Lamona College. Like I said before, we're a private HBCU located here in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, we have a very small enrollment of about 900 students per academic year. We are a fairly small campus. Here we go. There we go. So we are a fairly small campus, averaging about 900 students per academic year. We have a student faculty ratio of one professor to every 12 students. And there you can see our female and male population as well. And mind you, that the faculty ratio, we are smaller than the national average. So we have fairly small classrooms for easy uh, learning environment. We also have our student retention center whereas uh, we, give, we get you in touch with all our student uh, tutors and other academic tutors as well. We have, what you see here is five, but we have six divisions, 24 majors, eight minors, 13 teacher, license, teacher licensure programs, and two associate degree programs. Those uh, divisions and majors that you see here is business economic development, education, fine arts and humanities, natural and mathematical sciences, social and behavioral science, and a sixth one that you don't see right here is computer technologies. As I mentioned before, here's our majors, 24 majors, eight minors, 13 teacher licensure programs, and eight, excuse me, two associate degree programs. If you are a Tennessee resident, we do accept the Tennessee Promise Scholarship as well, something I do want to include, and I will uh, mention again towards the end of the presentation as well. We are not a, uh, we are just a traditional, uh, excuse me, four-year college, so we do not offer any grad programs, but like I said before, we do have teacher licensure programs as well. We offer three special programs, uh, primarily one of them being the partnership with the University of Tennessee Health Science Center, College of Nursing. Students will graduate from bachelor, well, excuse me, graduate from Lamona College with a bachelor's degree, uh, having an overall GPA of 3.0 and a 2.6 or better GPA in those science prerequisite courses that you'll be taking uh, throughout the time there. Uh, some of the benefits that you will have being a student here at Lamona College trying to get into the UT Health Science Center, um, you can have a tour and it's no competition to get in. So as long as you meet those requirements, that opportunity is yours. And more can be learned about that through our uh, the natural and natural science and mathematics mathematics division with uh, Dr. Sherry Painter. For those that are interested in uh, cybersecurity for our computer science and criminal justice majors, uh, well, cybersecurity is there for you. We have great internship opportunities. One of those being a partnership with, excuse me, uh, internship opportunities with the FBI department here in Memphis, Tennessee. And it is the fastest growing industry in America, if you didn't know. For those that are interested in the military, uh, we have a partnership with the University of Memphis Army ROTC program. Students there are attending Lamont on College will travel to University of Memphis for all physical and academic activity. Some of the benefits that you can receive from doing that is graduate as a second lieutenant in the United States Army. Scholarship money is available. And as I mentioned before, all Army ROTC courses are taught at the U of M. Student activities, we have various student activities and we are currently growing. If you visit our website, www.loc.edu, you will find a list of activities that we have. Some that most students are interested into nowadays is anime, we do have an anime club. We do have the Divine Nine, all of uh, sororities and fraternities. 
here at Lamona College. Um, student council, we have band, concert, choir, and gospel choir. We are associated with a church here on campus. Uh, we are a division two uh, school as well. So we have men and women's basketball, baseball, softball, tennis, volleyball, and cross country and golf. All have scholarship opportunities with that as well. And not to mention uh, the internships as well. We do have internships too. So to the meats and potatoes in which where I reside, we uh, look for students to have a, at least a cumulative GPA of 2.0. 16 on the ACT and 860 on the SAT. We also look for your shot record as well. And for those that are interested in the scholarship opportunities that we offer, which we have four academic level scholarships ranging from semester tuition and fees paid all the way up to a full year, uh, full ride to the school's um, tuition fees, books, et cetera. We look for students to have a cumulative GPA of a 3.0, 19 on the ACT and, a, or excuse me, or a 980 on the SAT. Shot records are also required as well. Another special thing that I want to mention is we have a new scholarship opportunity currently going on for the first 125 students to apply to our school. We're still looking for more students to apply to us. So to the first 125 students that uh, completely qualify and finish up their application process with us, you will be awarded a thousand dollar scholarship. The directions to apply are right there below and you can find that same information on www.loc.edu. How to apply. Once again, visiting that website that I mentioned before, you'll just click to the top right there, it says apply today. And once you fill out all the information applying as a traditional student, at the very end, you can submit your immunization records and any official high school or college transcripts and test scores that you may have saved onto your computer as well. And here's a, over, a broad overview of our uh, tuition. Uh, for those choosing to stay on campus, there's your total right there at the bottom. And then for those choosing to stay on off campus, there's your total as well. And um, like I want to mention again, um, we are a private school, so there is no in-state or out-of-state tuition. So the big bonus for those that reside in areas outside of Tennessee. And once again, thank you for having me. My name is Prince Page. Um, Here's my contact information, 901-435-1504. I can also be reached at prince underscore page at loc.edu. Or if you want to ask a general question to all of us, admissions at loc.edu. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram, uh, search loc.admissions. And don't forget, complete your application today to enjoy the magic. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Stillman College. All right, good afternoon, future Stillmanites. Uh, my name is Shantavia James, and I am an admissions recruiter for Stillman College located in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I'll get my screen started, okay. All right, so preparing you for a different world is our motto here at Stillman College. Uh, we are a liberal arts institution. Um, we are ranked number 10 by the National Science Foundation among undergraduate institutions. And we seek to answer the societal and uh, moral questions of today and tomorrow by integrating technological advances and entrepreneurship that oppress us forward towards a brighter future. So more about Stillman. As I said before, we're located in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the home of um, University of Alabama. We are only one hour from Birmingham, one hour from the airport in Birmingham, about three hours from Atlanta, Georgia, three and a half hours from Nashville, Tennessee, and about four and a half hours from the Alabama Gulf Coast. Um, we were founded in 1867 and we're located on about 100 acres of land in Tuscaloosa. Um, we have men's and women's uh, athletics on campus to include basketball, baseball, cheerleading, softball, and track and field. We have eight Greek lettered organizations, um, academic clubs and organizations, and a marching band and choir ensembles. So we have three schools on campus, the School of Business, School of Arts and Sciences, and the School of Education. Um, those includes majors such as accounting, general management, marketing, supply chain management. For School of Arts and Sciences, we have English, journalism, um, biology, chemistry, psychology, religion, and theology criminal justice, history, general studies, and mathematics. And under the School of Education, we have elementary education, English, math, vocal, choral music, instrumental music, physical education, and the visual arts.
Our, a college of distinction. Um, Stillman College is recognized for our excellence and academics and our student center program services. Um, the College of Distinction was created in 2001 by West Creel to help students and their parents to navigate the overwhelming process of selecting the right school. Um, we handpick and individually review all the schools to see that how they help students grow and succeed. Um, the aim is to help parents and students find not just the best college, but the right one within the U.S. Uh, and so the College of Distinction recognizes schools that deliver on four overarching distinctions, student engagement, teaching, community, and outcomes. And additionally, 370 colleges and universities are recognized annually. So we are proud to be called the College of Distinction for the 2020-2021 school year. All right, scholarship opportunities. We offer several scholarship opportunities that currently do not require um, ACT or SAT scores. So uh, the Golden Ticket Scholarship, you see the GPA requirement located on the right, is up to $14,000 um, towards your education. The Eye of the Tiger Scholarship, up to $9,000. The Blue Elite Scholarship, up to three. The Steelman Bound, up to $1,500. So on our website, you can find the requirements for each of those scholarships and the GPA requirements. Again, there are no test scores required. You just have to meet the GPA and the scholarship director would be in contact with you about those opportunities. All right, next is a list of all of the rest of our scholarships. So we have band scholarships, endowed scholarships, departmental, um, depending on major. We have a black male initiative scholarship, uh, visual arts scholarships and athletic scholarships, um, which are all available to our students. And you're more than a, uh, able to have more than one scholarship um, depending upon your area. It could be band or academic. Um, so the award process is you have to be admitted as a student to Stillman College and have um, registered for a minimum of 15 credit hours. Um, you have to complete your FAFSA, complete the scholarship application and meet and maintain the required GPA. You have to pay your student orientation and housing fees um, before the requested deadline to be eligible for scholarships. <clears throat> so how do you apply? So high school students, you complete an application and you submit an official transcript upon graduation. That's all that we need. Our test scores are waived, so you meet a minimum of a 2.0 GPA and have your transcript submitted. Um, for transfer and returning students, the um, requirements are listed below. All you need is your, your transcript from all of your colleges and a completed application. And finally, if you need any additional assistance to contact undergraduate admissions, you can contact me, Shantavia James, as sjames at stillman.edu, or Ms. Sandra Thomas at sthomas at stillman.edu. Um, and for online degrees, some of the degrees I listed earlier have a special contact for just for online school. You can contact um, Ms. Kara, that's at K-S-A-L-L-E-E-S -E -E at stillman.edu. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Tennessee State University. Good afternoon. I'm going to get my screen shared. We'll get this presentation started. All right, good afternoon. My name is Dominic Cooper and I serve here in the Office of Admissions and Recruitment here at the Tennessee State University located in Nashville, Tennessee in the historic Jefferson, North Nashville. We're located about 10 minutes from downtown Nashville. Um, we were actually founded in 1912 on Juneteenth. So that is a fact that we like to share with all of our future Tigers here at the Tennessee State University in Atlanta, Golden Sunshine. Again, my name is Dominic Cooper, but I go by Coop the Counselor. You can see my contact information in the top, and you can see how to reach out to me. Um, but just a few things about TSU on this presentation today. So currently, as it stands, Tennessee State University, again, we're located about 10 minutes from downtown Nashville. We sit on a 500-acre Palacio campus. We actually have a second campus, which is our Avon Williams Graduate School, and it's actually located in the heart of downtown Nashville. So students can matriculate between both campuses, and especially if you decide to matriculate and go get an advanced degree after you graduate. And I'll discuss a few of those options as well. But for my first time freshman, the great things you need to know is that TSU is test optional. We only require a 2.5 cumulative GPA. No SAT or ACT is required right now. Um, if you have taken those tests, it only benefits you as a student. 
because it allows you to apply to more scholarships. So we are test optional to get accepted, but some scholarships do still require a test score. So once you get to applying to those, you can reach out to myself and I'll let you know which scholarships do. We do have two options to apply, the Common Black College application, which allows you to apply to TSU and to several other HBCUs, or you can visit tnstate.edu and you'll be able to view all the other scholarships um, apply directly on that site. It's a $25 application fee and you can send your test scores and admissions information to admissions at tnstate.edu or you can utilize my contact information and send it directly to me. If you do utilize the Common Black College application, we ask that you be sure to let us know. If you list us in your top four universities, we'll be able to get that information. If you don't list us, just make sure to reach out and let us know so we can pull your application. Um, we have over 40 undergraduate degree programs ranging from a full four-year bachelor's of science in nursing. We have education majors, pre-med, pre-dentistry. Um, agriculture is still one of our largest departments, supply chain management, business, engineering, um, dental hygiene as well, political science, pre-law. We do have that as well. So if you're looking to study any of those wonderful programs, definitely apply and we're the place you want to be. For my students that are going into the pre-med or pre-dentistry route, we actually have a brand new scholarship program that is a full ride scholarship to Tennessee State University and it's through a program, the Dr. Levi Watkins Scholarship Program. So we have a new scholarship, it's a special program rolling out in the fall of 2021 where you'll be granted dual admission to Tennessee State University and Meharry Medical College. So you'll be able to know out of high school, hey, I'm going straight to TSU and after that I'm going straight to Meharry Medical to study pre-med or pre-dentistry. So it's a very unique program, full around scholarship. Um, the deadline to apply is February the 15th. So definitely reach out to apply for that. If you are interested, it's a very unique program. Um, we do have over 8,000 students with a 16 to one student to faculty ratio. Um, we do have eight plus residence halls. We have a few new residence halls being built now and we don't require freshmen to stay on campus, but it is an option. Freshmen can bring their vehicles to campus and we do not have Friday classes. So those are just a few academic facts. And we do have a computer lab in every academic building. Some additional programs we offer are Air Force ROTC, Detachment 790 is housed here at TSU. And we do have a crosstown partnership with other universities where you can study and do the ROTC of any other branch of service of your choice through a crosstown partnership. So additional scholarships are offered of course by doing the ROTC and I can get you that information as well. We do compete in the NCAA Division I Ohio Valley Conference. So for all my athletes, tsutigers.com is where you'll go to get more recruitment information about TSU. For my students interested in playing for the best HBCU band in the land, ALB, Aristocratic Bands, definitely reach out, go to aristocraticbands.com. You can see that information. Our band actually got to perform on the White House line for President Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama. And in the pre-inaugural events this year for President Biden, we were actually designated as one of the HBCUs to perform as well. So if you want to be in the band, definitely ALB, aristocraticbands.com. Again, we have scholarships available for 250 mile radius students, students that are within 250 miles of Nashville, Tennessee. We have out of state scholar rates. So those are additional ways to get your tuition discounted for my students that may be a little bit further than a 250 mile radius program. Um, again, we have outside scholarships, fast with Thurgood Marshall, the UNCF. We do accept all outside scholarships. Um, and we do offer departmental scholarships as well, as well as um, academic scholarships. So a 2.9 to 3.0 range and a 19 ACT gets you qualified for those. But again, just to highlight, we are test optional. So a 2.5 gets you guaranteed admission to the university. Again, you can apply on tnstate.edu or by using the Common Black College application. My contact information is at the top left-hand screen. Again, my name is Dominic Cooper, and I look forward to welcoming you all to the land of golden sunshine where you'll think, work, and serve. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Clark Atlanta University. Hello there, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. 
I'm sorry about that. Okay, can you see the screen? Awesome, awesome. Okay. So good evening, everyone. My name is Antonio McFarland and I am representing Clark Atlanta University. Uh, so of course we know Clark Atlanta is in the great uh, city of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, we tend to call ourselves one exceptional university where we find a way or make one. So just a brief history about the institution is uh, actually was uh, two institutions that consolidated into one, which was Atlanta University and Clark College, and they came together and consolidated and became Clark Atlanta University. So now we have uh, bachelor degree programs, master degree programs, and uh, doctoral programs. A few Hall of Famers, uh, James Weldon Johnson, uh, Kenya Barish, creator of Blackish, uh, Rap David Abernathy, uh, one of Martin Luther King Jr.'s um, really cool friends um, back in the day. Uh, Pinky Cole, who is a successful business lady um, who started from a food truck to multiple um, uh, locations of her restaurant, the Slutty Vegan Restaurant. So uh, just a few Hall of Famers that I wanted to uh, mention. So the majority of our students, we have about 4,000 students in our top markets. Our students come from Georgia, Illinois, California, New York, Florida, Michigan, Maryland, Tennessee, and District of Columbia. And so we have students from about 22 international countries as well. So it's very diverse on our campus also. So the university is made up of four schools and those four schools are our School of Arts and Sciences, School of Business, School of Education, and the School of Social Work. And within those schools, we have 29 majors. And so our students are able to major uh, and minor or double major and minor or just major. So uh, these are all of our majors listed here. Our students are also able to do tons of internships and study abroad opportunities uh, to actually allow themselves to, again, be a part of um, the overall college experience. And what we are looking for is for students to come in and get involved in their major so that they're really marketable and their resume when they leave is um, very outstanding. So uh, we do have 171 full-time faculty, uh, average classroom size is 17 to one, 81% uh, of our faculty uh, has terminal uh, degrees and 67% are tenured faculty. So a cool, cool thing about um, Clark Atlanta, we are part of what we call the AUC. Uh, that's the Atlanta University Center, Center Consortium. And what that is, is a group of institutions, which are all in the same area in Atlanta, uh, that are part of a consortium, right? And so uh, we, the Clark Atlanta Spelman College uh, Morehouse College, Morehouse School of Medicine, we have this cool cross registration initiative. And so uh, if a class is not being offered at Clark and it is being offered at the other institutions a part of the AUC, uh, our students are able to take those classes for uh, the same as that cost of attending Clark. Um, so we're definitely excited and, and that gives students an opportunity to also uh, be a part of other campuses and to actually uh, hear from other professors and build more um, opportunities with, with their colleagues. So um, about our admissions requirements, uh, this year the institution has a, um, suspended all test requirements so uh, students can apply and submit their uh, transcripts and we'll still be able to make a decision. However, our uh, academic profile, the average student uh, on our campus GPA is a 3.2, average ACT is a 19 and average SAT is a 1014. Now, if a student has taken the ACT or the SAT, we do encourage them to still submit those scores as well. Now, what constitutes a complete packet 
for the application packet, uh, students need to uh, complete the application, send us their high school transcript, send us two letters of recommendations uh, and their resume. Um, and so again, the ACT and SAT scores uh, are suspended. Um, so um, there are three ways to apply. Students can apply through our online application on our website at cau.edu. Um, through the Common App, that's the commonapp.org, or they can apply through Common Black uh, College App. And the person who uh, actually created the Common Black College App is a Clark Atlanta alum. These are deadline dates listed and our SAT, ACT, FAFSA codes listed as well. So our direct cost, tuition and fees uh, is a uh, about $23,600 per year, and that's without room and meal plan. Uh, with the room and meal plan, it's about $36,000 for the year. So that means the average um, financial aid award from the institution is about $15,000. So we uh, want students to understand uh, that there's some other resources out there that's available um, to apply for as it relates to scholarships. Now with scholarships, we do have uh, need-based merit scholarships uh, and those are at 3.0 or better. Uh, we have tons of campus life activities, uh, tons of clubs and organizations. Uh, we, we're within the uh, SIAC conference and um, we would, uh, so yeah. Um, and <laughs> but that's it. Thank you. Lastly, we'll be hearing from Fisk University. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Daniela Lopez. I am the senior admissions counselor here at Fisk University. I am also a proud Fiskite class of 2018. I'm going to share a, a quick video with you all. Behold the heart and namesake of Music City, Fisk University. Based in Nashville, Tennessee, Fisk is the oldest institution of higher education in the city and continues to change the world for the better. Fisk students, faculty, staff, and alumni have been instrumental in transforming the world across a variety of fields, business, pre-med, technology, education, the arts, music, and social justice. Each year, Fisk University's outstanding faculty and students continue to uphold the university's national reputation for academic and professional excellence. From leading reviewers to top corporations and graduate schools, everyone can agree that Fisk University cultivates the highest caliber of scholars, executives, and leaders. According to the National Science Foundation, Fisk produces more African Americans who go on to earn doctoral degrees in the natural sciences than any school in the nation, and a top 10 HBCU on the US News and World Report. With more than 40% of students involved in corporate internships, Fisk is also ranked number three three for job placement in the state of Tennessee. Companies such as Google, Apple, HCA Healthcare, Cravath, Swain, and more are all frequent recruiters of Fisk University students. Our team understands that your college choice is one of the most important decisions that you can make for your future. Fisk University strives to ensure that you will gain a significant return on that investment. Our goal is to provide a well-rounded educational experience that you'll not only enjoy, but that will truly prepare you to compete at the highest level, both personally and professionally. We recognize that your choice of college is truly about realizing your dreams, and we are deeply committed to helping you achieve unprecedented success. Along with your peers, dedicated professors, and administrators will become your family, your Fisk family, and we are welcoming you with open arms. If you're interested in joining us, be sure to submit your application today and visit fisk.edu. So what do you have to lose?
you only have amazing opportunities to gain. All right, so real quick, um, a little bit about FISC. Uh, we are one of the smallest HBCUs out there right now. Our current enrollment is approximately 900 students. Um, our campus is about 42 acres big, so we are very small, very family oriented here um, at FISC. Our average class sizes are um, class size is about 15 students per class, and our student teacher ratio is 12 to 1. Uh, we are an HBCU, so again, 90% of our students are um, African American. That does mean that uh, the other 10% do identify with another race or ethnicity. We do have a lot of international students on our campus coming from Nigeria, Nepal, the Bahamas, etc. We also have a high number of Latino students on our campus. Um, and like the video mentioned, we are located in Nashville, Tennessee. <clears throat> However, 75% um, of our students do come from out of state. In those top states are um, Illinois, Illinois, Georgia, Texas, and California. We um, offer over 25 majors and minors here at Fisk. Our top programs are psychology, biology, pre-med, and business administration. We do offer five concentrations under business, business administration, including music business. Um, this year, we are very happy to uh, have added three new programs, which are data science, homeland security, and criminal justice. Uh, apart, for, apart from uh, bachelor's degrees, uh, FIS does offer uh, graduate programs as well. Uh, we offer some master's programs and some PhD programs in um, those programs that you see on the screen that have a little star by them. So for example, for psychology, we offer a bachelor's in psychology and then we offer a master's in clinical psychology. All right, so our admissions requirements. Here at FISC, we do a holistic review of everybody's application. However, we would love to see students with a 3.0 unweighted GPA or above, a 21 ACT or a 1060 SAT or above. Uh, the last class that we uh, brought in, um, the class of 2024, uh, their average GPA was a 3.4, uh, their average ACT was a 24, and their average SAT was an 1180. This year, due to the pandemic, we are um, going wa waiving test scores for students who live in a state or a school district that um, did not offer any testing opportunities. So if that's your case, we'll be able to waive those test scores uh, for you. Here are just some of our, our outcomes that we love to speak about uh, here at FISC. 61% of students who earn a FISC degree enter graduate or professional school within one year of their graduation. Um, oftentimes, FISC is called a pre-professional school because we're able to place so many of our students in graduate or professional school. Um, here at FISC, over 40% of our students are selected for internships. Um, the national average is only about 9%. Um, and then uh, according to the National Science Foundation, FISC produces more African-Americans who go on to earn doctoral degrees um, than any other school in the nation. Again, uh, my name is Daniela Lopez. Uh, I'll be here answering any questions um, you may have. Thank you. Thank you. So I would just like to invite all of our reps to come back on and do a round of Q&A. Um, so we'll start with what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And we can just answer in the same order that you presented in, starting with Lemoyne Owen College. Okay. Um, advice I would give someone, um, something different when I, I considered uh, when I was going through the college search process, um, find a school that best and exactly what you're looking for. Um, I understand most of us or some of us uh, when we go to college, uh, we do not initially know what we want to do, but in time when you come to learn and take time to evaluate yourself and what it is that you want to do in life, um, find that school that best meets your needs. Uh, don't follow the crowd. Um, that typically happens. I, I know I certainly looked at schools where I was like, this is the most hype school. This is the most lit school. I want to be here. But follow, find the school that best uh, fits your needs academically and socially. And uh, I agree with Prince. Um, I'd say, you know, make a list of what's important to you. 
Um, what, what are those things that you have to have in the institution? Does it have your major? Um, does it have the organizations that you're interested in? Does it provide um, internship opportunities? Or um, what is the career outlook um, from the, the programs? You know, how the professors, class size, that was important to me. I didn't want to go to a really, really large school. I know I needed that uh, additional help. So I want to make sure that the class sizes um, uh, fit my interest and my liking, as well as the tuition costs, even if there are um, some financial aid available um, is the tuition reasonable to you or your family? And also talk to your family. They may have some great advice for you as well. And I would also state um, in this process, the first thing you want to do is, you know, make sure you're deciding what it is that you want as a student. So if that's an academic program, internship, study abroad, Greek life, community service, you know, you want to run for SGA. Can you do that as a freshman? What does that look like? You Maybe you want a mentor. Maybe you want that because you didn't have it. Just look at those things because the brand is what we're gonna to bring to you from each school. Um, each ind individual school does that in a great way individually. But what you want as a student, you know, I always tell my students, I'm not gonna bring you to TSU if we don't have the program you want because it doesn't make sense. So just being realistic and just knowing what do you want as a student first, then you can decide what universities to look at. I, I agree with all the um, panelists. I think the most important thing right now in your uh, college search is understanding that your GPA is your life right now. And uh, colleges are looking at your ninth through 12th grade year. And so it's gonna be very important that you take every class serious and, and really maximize your potential in each class. Uh, get help if you need it. it. Don't be afraid to ask questions, but also uh, understand that at the end of the day, you're paying to go to an institution. So be very proactive in your, your scholarship search, be proactive in uh, with making, you know, asking questions with uh, your counselor, uh, being in the forefront of your counselor's office, you know, let them know that you are serious about your education. Uh, someone, a senior who's on their A game is someone who knows their GPA, they know their class rank, they, they really have things lined out. So we don't want you to wait until the last minute and start your application process. We want you to be proactive and do your research early. The earlier, the better. Hi. Um I guess my advice would be uh, to really research those outcomes. What is that school going to do for you? Where is it going to place you after four years? Will it just give you a degree and then you go on your way and you figure it out? Or will they give you all the tools, all the resources, the networking, the connections with uh, wherever you're going to end up working? Um, it's really important that uh, students um, taking consideration their return of, of their investments. You're paying to go to this school. A lot of schools are private. Uh, it's a lot of money. Are they going to place you where you want to be after those four years, whether it's graduate school, whether it's um, your dream job, et cetera? That would be uh, my number one advice. Great. Looks like we have time for another. Um, so just quickly, if everyone wants to share their favorite event or tradition that takes place on their campus. Oh, you said if anyone or in the order, the same order. Um, yeah, we can just do the same order. Um, just, yeah. I think everybody's going to say the same thing, but I don't know, it could be different. Yeah. But um, for <laughs> me, I'm just going to say uh, homecoming, uh, specifically at Loma on College. Uh, it's kind of different with us because I, as I mentioned during the presentation, uh, we are a small campus, like really small. So um, it's essentially like during that whole week is full of events and activities. Uh, a lot of stuff is going on. It's like literally like one huge block party. Um, and because we have some faculty members that are alumni of the school, um, a benefit to the students, I will say is, oddly enough, um, some classes are uh, cut short, you know, some bigger campuses, you know, events are going on and then, you know, class resumes as usual, but at Lemoyne, um, one year, particularly, uh, while I was there, um, some classes were, uh, canceled, uh, just so that students can partake in the activities, you know, meet with alumni of old, new, and yeah, 
big black party. I agree. Uh, for for Clark, uh, homecoming is a huge uh, event on our campus, and it's a reunion where you get to really see people that that you actually um, went to school with, but also you get to um, really really learn about other persons that have gone through um, um, that institution as well. But also uh, a lot of the young alumni uh, get to come back and they get to speak into um, the classes and really um, just talk about where they, where they come from, what they've been exposed to and what they're doing now, just as a, a motivation to, to the other uh, students. But it's definitely, homecoming is, is definitely the, the highlight of uh, Clark Atlanta. Oh, I can, I, sorry, you can go ahead. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Um, no, I want to agree with everyone. Definitely homecoming for sure. Um, but for me, in addition to homecoming is um, anything that our marching band is a part of. Um, any event, whether they are playing on campus, uh, at any athletic event, or if we get invited to somewhere to play, that is, that is one of my, um, my favorite things to be a part of. The band is such a, um, a hype thing on campus, you know, no matter what it looks like when the band is playing, um, we all have a good time. So definitely homecoming, anything the marching band is a part of. Yeah, same, um, same here at Fisk. Uh, every student is looking forward to homecoming season. Um, alumni obviously looking forward to their flying out to Nashville. Um, and, you know, it's not just like, it's a family reunion, but for a lot of our current students, it's also like a networking opportunity. You get to meet like a lot of uh, alumni who are already, you know, having senior positions in, in their jobs or are in the same field as some of our current students um, would like to be in. And it's just like a huge networking opportunity as well. Um, and here at Fisk, we also have an alumni weekend, which is the same weekend as graduation. And it's like, just like a mini homecoming. It's just a weekend homecoming instead of the whole week. Um, and that's also uh, one of our favorite events and something we look forward to here at Fisk. Awesome. Well, thank you to all of our presenters and thank you to everyone that joined us. Um, when you go to close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey and we'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this is just one of many sessions being hosted, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions and in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other sessions recordings at the website where you registered. So thank you everyone. Bye.